Reckon we've got two more headed for Dawson City. Pirates of the North. We chose Alberta to shoot this thing because there was an infrastructure there in terms of the costume department, in terms of production design, in terms of the animal wranglers. It's all authentic. They spent their entire career trying to recreate the 1800s. So the resources that we were able to build off of just by being here are, are huge. This is, this is a, uh, a well-known set that's been around 20 plus years. And of course the challenge is always for a designer and director to own it and to make it different. They have an old town that was used actually for Lonesome Dove that we repurposed for this. One of our mandates was that this, this town cannot look like a western town from Kansas somewhere. It has to look like that town that, that Dawson was, which was essentially carved out of the evergreens in the Pacific Northwest. And we wanted to make it more of an edge of the world town, a town that just emerged out of the dust and the ice. Everyone's got boots on and there's mud, you know, above their ankles. That's what it was like. That's this town. It was very cold and very confronting, but I loved it because it set a tone. It made me understand that world and what it would have been like to survive in it. This place kills. They'd kill over mud, would they? It's what they think is under it. The material itself uh, provides its own beautiful roadmap. And then here we are on these beautiful sets, which are staggeringly accurate and detailed. Focus, the detail and love and creativity that's being put into this is just amazing. Enjoy, enjoy! Yeah! There we go, Jim! Break up! The more of that authentic research you can do, you can add more layers and believability to the set dressing to the design to the props. So we brought in telegraph wires to make this an 1897 town, not an 1855 town. This was effectively designed as a western town. We worked very hard on stripping it back and taking away the western elements. So you aren't just looking at a screen, you aren't looking at a show on Discovery Channel, you're watching people recreate this time period. You get to peek inside of it, and that's exciting. And so I think that's gonna come across. People are gonna watch a really beautiful, epic, story.